If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please do subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon to get notified whenever I upload a new video. What is up guys, Ayud here and I'm back with another video on your favorite YouTube channel Ayud Nandi and in today's video I'll be showing you how to make a digital clock using the tiny RTC module and of course an Arduino. So come, let's get started with our build. Okay, so first of all let's go through the list of parts. Firstly, we will be needing an Arduino. Well, I am using the Uno variant of the Arduino. You can use any variant of the Arduino as well. Next up, we will be needing an RTC module. I am using the Tiny RTC module which is based on the DS1307 RTC chip. Well, you can use any other RTC module as well. But I will recommend you to use the DS1307 module because, you know, it is just easier to connect. Next up, we will be needing an LCD module. I am using a 16x2 LCD module which has an I2C module connected to it. Now what the I2C module does is, it basically connects all the digital pins of the LCD module and converts them to a single uh, serial port communication. Now with this I2C module on the LCD module, the LCD module can now can, uh, communicate with the Arduino via the serial port. Next up, we will be needing a few batteries. I am using this cheap 3.7 volt lithium ion battery. Uh, now you can use this CR2032 cell as well because you know the RTC module has an onboard holder for these kind of cells. But I prefer to use these kind of cells because you know uh, the rechargeable version of the CR2032 is quite costly and uh, it's not effective at times. So I prefer going with these cheaper, you know, 3.7 volt lithium ion batteries. So that is with the parts list. Uh, now for your, before I get cracking with the connections, let me tell you that uh, I will be soldering on all my wires. As you can see, I have wires, not jumper cables. You can use jumper cables as well to make your connections, but I prefer, you know, soldering on the wires because, you know, it's just easier for me. Now that we're done with the list of parts, let's get cracking with the build.
the coding part let's uh, first open up the examples and go and find the liquid crystal i2c library and open up the set time code so now you have the set time code go ahead and upload the sketch but first check whether the arduino is connected yeah it is now upload the code and the code must be compiling and it takes some time depending upon the processor you are using and uh, let's see let's see yeah and here we go it's done uploading now go ahead and open up the serial monitor and it should say something like this yeah so our ds1307 is configured now go ahead and open up the code that i've provided in the description and upload the code just like so so it will it should start compiling again and and uh, here we have our code yeah that's done uploading so now open up the serial monitor once again go ahead and open up the serial monitor and it should say something like this you get you should get yeah so it should say something like the read test is successful or something like so and you should get a new time every second so that means that your arduino has been programmed in the correct way Thank you guys for watching the video and if you really like the video please don't forget to like share and subscribe to my channel and stay tuned to my channel and i'll be back with more such awesome tutorial videos till then bye bye